Introducing, in the red corner, formerly of Nigeria, now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 117 pounds, with a professional record of 10 wins, no defeats, six KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the undefeated Akeem Anafawoshi. And in the blue corner, formerly of Yucatan, Mexico, now fighting out of National City, California. He weighed in at an even 120 pounds. His professional record consists of 14 wins, eight defeats with seven KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Carlos Castro. Does he understand English? He, yeah. under he understands English? Okay, you understand. So I'll, I'll, I'll direct all the conversation to him. Uh -huh. In case of a knockdown, if you go down, go to a neutral corner and you stay there. Okay? Watch your low blows, watch your heads. When I pat you on the back, you break clean. Okay? Okay? Shake hands, let's have a good fight. Okay. Quickly to the tail of the tape we go. Carlos Castro, as you can see, at age 25, coming in with uh, Akeem. We'll get to that tail of the tape. We had uh, oh. Miguel Diaz in there. I think he's a man of uh, 20 languages. <laughs> the guy knows every language in the world. Castro in the blue trunks. Akeem Anafawashe in the white with the black trim. Very tall, very lanky, lanky coming in at 10-0 with six knockouts. We do not know a lot about Carlos Castro. He was coming in as a late replacement. We do know he's 25 out of Mexico with a record of 14 and 8. Castro looks like a pretty strong fighter, though. He looks a little stiff right now, a little cold, too. Real tentative right now. Uh, hopefully we'll get enough, get to see him, enough of him to know that he can fight. Keep very tall for a band. The way he comes in, they say about 5'8". I, I would venture to say he's more like 5'9", 5'10". Very tall guy. Great reach. Reach of probably a, a welterweight with his height. He's very young, too. He's only 19. I think he'll be 20 tomorrow. His birthday is to be a nice little birthday present for him. That's right. I've been noticing Akeem in the gym, and he's been training with an intensity that I haven't seen from him in a long time. He's just really intense with his fights. Castro backing him up and do the no corner stop, and no throwing Akeem around. And Joey Curtis instructed him to keep it clean. Nice left hook to the head by Akeem. Notice how Castro switched up to southpaw trying to confuse him. Yeah, Akeem did the right thing, though, by throwing left hooks. So that's a good thing to throw with a southpaw, his right hand's left hooks, and Akeem caught him with a good left hand. A big left hook knocks Akeem down. It was more like a slip. Akeem doesn't seem to be too upset by it. He gets up quickly and looks to his corner. Miguel Diaz and just kind of shakes his head. He gets a standing A from uh, Joey Let's Curtis, go. and they're back at it a minute to go in round number one. I think it was more of a flash knockdown, more of a push flash type of knockdown. Castro can obviously uh, punch pretty well. At least he's looking like he wants to land a big punch, trying to land, land that big left hook. He looks strong. Greg, your big... Uh, I guess complain with Akeem is he doesn't he doesn't plan enough to get enough power behind his punches. Yeah, he uh, he does a lot of movement and uh, he, he fights as they say if with your foot in the bucket when you're trying to move away and punch at the same time. It, it tends to take a lot off the punch. Uh, you know, Akeem needs to Akeem needs to settle down on his punches a little better and uh, I think he got caught going away off balance. 30 seconds to go in round number one of eight, the Bantamweights, Akeem Anafawashe in the white trunks. And Carlos Castro in the blue has already scored a, at least from uh, Joey Curtis's vantage point, a knockdown. But notice how uh, uh, Akeem is taking it technically. He's trying to break down that body real slow. He's taking both of those body shots, trying to slow his man down, the strong man down. We'll, we'll have round number two after this. Underway of the 118 pounders, Akeem Anafawashi and Carlos Castro. Right off the bat, Castro tries to muscle Akeem into Anafawashi's corner. Anafawashi certainly has the hand speed and the style, but Castro looking looking for a brawl right now. Akeem's doing a good thing by going to the side. When he comes in, he steps to the side instead of backing straight up. Uh, that's a smart move by Akeem there. 
team is going to have a pretty hard job now because Castro's uh, confidence level is up at a high point right now. And he's going to walk in here and try to get him out of there. You know, this is a, quite a redness over Castro's nose, the bridge of his nose. Uh, I think that's probably from uh, eating a few jabs from uh, Keen there. He's moving good right at this point. Uh, Keem's kind of a little uh, leery of his power seeing how he got dropped, but I think it was more of a stepping on his foot with Keem going back more than it was a punch land. Watch your head, watch your head. I'm really impressed at Anifawashi how he's keeping his composure through that little flash knockout or whatever it is, and he's staying technical. He's staying to the body. He's just picking his shots, taking his time, not getting excited. Castro is still trying to turn into a brawl, but Keem landing some pretty good uppercuts there trying to certainly has the hand speed. Now Castro just bullies him into the corner. Yeah, that's Castro's fight. Uh, he can't stand out at the end of Keem's jab and win the fight. He's going to have to pull Keem and get him inside. Keem going to the body very well in the midsection, landing about four shots unanswered by Castro. Now going back up to the head. And what you're seeing right here, this is the work of a technician right now. Look, at this is this is the beauty of boxing right here. He's being very technical. He's taking his time, and he's picking this man apart. This is the art, the fine art of boxing right here. Look at this man. You see Castro's kind of... Uh, backing up now. I think he's lost a little bit of his confidence from the body shots. Keem's starting to take his toll with body shots. Using that left hook very effectively with that right hand down by Castro. The left hook continues to go over the top of it and land consistently. He's using his jab real well, too, and that's keeping uh, Castro out at the end of it. And that's a, that's a Keem's fight right there. Keem broke his hand back in January, but he's come back with four wins, in, or five wins in 19 88 and uh, looking pretty good right here. Carlos Castro, the opponent tonight. Good body shot right there. Slowed him right down to nothing. He's a technician. He's a beautiful, beautiful nice boxing easy. machine, a technician. Break, and he might not have that broken. great punching power that everybody's been mocking him for, but I think he's so technical. That constant drop of water, knock a hole in a rock, and he's working it. You know, he's steady on the case. Ten seconds to go in round number two. A nice round for Akeem Anafawashe, the favorite here. As Castro does a little dancing, but all in retreat. We'll come back with round number three in a moment. Oh, Who's from the Sports Pavilion here at the Showboat Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas? Humalay ringside with Greg Halgan and Hurricane Hadley as we offer a full night of boxing from the boat tonight. Our first bout, the third round of an eight round bathway tussle. Akeem Adafuashe in the white trunks, the black trim, and Carlos Castro. And after a flash knockdown in the first round by Castro, Akeem came back very nicely in round number two. Oh, let's get out. Break Keem's smart, oh, fight, yes, a smart back. fight right now. He's, back. Every time let's Carlos go. goes southpaw, he throws a lot of right Keep hands and a lot of there. hooks to him. I think he really slowed him down to a slow pace right now with the body shots he's been hitting him with. He's been a technician. He's been taking him apart slowly and surely, just oh, yeah. picking into pieces. Please. And that's, that's the fine out of boxing right, right there. Uh, I think Castro's kind of confused right now. He's not sure because he's not doing very well uh, southpaw or orthodox. He's uh, taking some shots and he's taking some big body shots right now. Right now, Keem doing the muscle. going to the body very well. And the Castro getting off about one shot for every seven or eight of Ana Fawashes, who's been in charge since that knockdown in the first round. Well, you notice uh, Carlos, he's backing up. He's more worried about getting hit in that left side under the body like Keem's digging them shots he's more more worried about that and he can't think about any offense right now and Keem's just picking him apart like Rufus said he's you know he's working the body real well coming back to the head being very technical this is this is a technical fight this is the fine beauty of boxing right here he takes his man apart he's picking him apart slowly but surely and I can see the confidence just being drained away from his opponent Carlos Keem muscling in there just he was being pushed around early but right now he's doing the pushing Castro is really confused he doesn't know what to do and getting off very few punches I think Keem needs to uh, if I think it, it would be successful after he's hitting him in the body like that all he'd really have to do is just bend down at the knees and Carlos would think he's going down and just come right up over the top with a good right hand and uh, I think he might have uh, hurt him pretty bad if he did that. Now watch the heads in there because Castro continues. Nice, right. And down goes Castro. Big right hand by Akeem Anafawashi. And down goes Carlos Castro. Joey Curtis. Fights over. 
He gets up at eight. Oh, yeah. Castro gets up. Boy, that was like a jumping jack. Barely beating the count of Joey Curtis. We've got 30 seconds to go, and Alaphawashe going for the knockout. He's got to be careful in here because he's tending to, he's losing concentration on defense. Uh, he's going all out, and he's thinking more about stopping. Yeah, he's, been, he's, been fight, he's been haunted by the ghost of people telling him he can't punch, he can't punch. I think he's out there trying to prove something That's right good, now. Man. Keep, you know, keep fighting uh, at a lighter weight. He comes in, he's fighting bantamweight and super bantamweight, and he's four or five pounds under the bantamweight. A big round for Akeem Anafalashe with a knockdown. 30 seconds to go in round number three. A nice comeback by Castro, who just pretty much held on. We thought he was counted out. In fact, Greg Halligan thought he was counted out. Jose Olivares and Mark Greb in the corner. I thought, uh, you know, I thought he wasn't going to get up. The way he looked, he didn't look like he wanted to get up. Joey Curtis over checking on him now. Uh, we check in in the corner, and we'll ask Greg for the translation. Greg, what are they saying? Uh, probably saying, uh, keep your hands up and uh, stay away from it. But, uh, Here's the knockdown coming up from round number three. This was about 35 seconds to go. There's the right Beautiful hand right on the chin and down one Castro and as Greg said it took him 8.5 seconds to get up. Seconds out! Seconds out! Jumped up but a big round for Anafawashe as Hurricane mentioned being somewhat criticized often for his lack of punching power. Six knockouts and 10, 10 professional wins but he's not known as a big puncher. At 118 pounds he is a stylist. Excellent reach, good jab, and good movement. I think what Anafawashi has done is uh, he's just slowly but surely draining draining all the fight out of Carlos Castro. I think uh, Keem, if he jab, jab, and then a, a hook off the jab, I think that would be successful for him right now because if you see that Carlos is trying to block his jab with his right hand, he's bringing it down too far. When you try to block the jab with the, the, jab with the right hand, you only want to paw it. You don't want to move your hand from the side of your face. And look what he's doing. He's turning a slugger into a boxer. This guy's trying to box. This is nothing, nothing within his game plan. And so you can tell he's really not in his fight. And no blow by Anafawashe. And down goes Castro for the count again. South of the border for Akeem as he came up with a bolo uh, uppercut. This might be his way out right here. Yeah, he's looking for a way out. And I was very unintentional. Akeem's throwing those looping uppercuts. And, uh, and I just happened to catch him with a bad shot right there. Him up there. Still to come tonight, Angles Pedroza will be on, taking on Manuel De Leon, two fighters who have won all their fights by knockouts. 20 for Pedroza and 16 for De Leon. He's got a team in trouble, and Castro turning into a tiger. is hurt a team right above us against the ropes. Team needs to get off those ropes with Joey Curtis refereeing because a team just comes out throws down Carlos Castro. A nice uh, flurry by Castro. Yeah, it was, but a lot of those punches were just going over Akeem. Akeem did a good job of defensive work there by ducking under a lot of them. And he just come away laughing there. He didn't look too hurt. I think Akeem's going to take over right here. Oh, good right Big hand. right hands by Akeem Anafawashe. Castro had his flurry. He's probably punched out right now. Akeem needs to work the body a little more because Carlos is concentrating. He's thinking he's getting hit in the head a lot. Akeem could just slow him down to nothing right now with a good body shot. An excellent round here for Castro, but also a nice comeback by Akeem, who we thought was hurt there. With about a minute to go in round number three. Right now, Akeem's having a lot of fun. He's smiling, and he's he's doing what he wants to do in there. And, uh, you know, right now, he's he's getting good work, and he's he's learning. Right on the box, hit and not be hit. 27 seconds to go in round number four. I stand corrected on that one. But a big round for Carlos Castro. You sure? So we'll check. Another right hand by Akeem. And he's uh, smiling big time. And we doubt. That's it. That's it. He's out now. He's out now. He's up. Castro's up. Jerry Curtis says that's all. Akeem Anafawashe gets the long-awaited knockout. Beautiful. He ups his record to 11-0 with seven knockouts, a 7-11 combination. Very popular here in Vegas. <laughs> and Akeem showing some uh, punching power. Perfectly executed uppercut. Beautiful. Uh, he caught him flush on the jaw, and uh, Carlos was bending into it when he got him. 
What a wild round, one in which Castro went down early by a low blow. He flurried, had what we thought was Anafawashi in trouble against the ropes. Anafawashi weathered that storm, and then Akeem came on late with the knockdown and the eventual there's, TKO. There's the knockdown that stopped, dropped him and stopped him. Perfect uppercut. uppercut. Look at that. That's right there. excellent hand speed, beautiful marksmanship, and down goes Carlos Castro. He just sharpshooted his way to victory. You know, the more I see Akeem, the more I'm impressed with him because of the fact that he takes his time and... For the official announcement of the TKO of the fourth round, here's Chuck Hall, ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, three minutes of the fourth round. Referee Davey Pearl stops the bout, the hold, winner by a TKO, hold, hold. and still undefeated, Akeem Anafawashi. Called him Joey, uh, called Davey Pearl. <laughs> Referee Joey, Joey Curtis. Curtis Joey the Curtis, Davey Pearl. The winner is Akeem Anafawashi. There's, there's a big difference. <laughs> An excellent Ex display of boxing. Next bout of the evening, the judges are Dolby Shirley, Chuck Giampa, and Bill Graham.